Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last time we explored this uh, Daedric Shrine and uh, ultimately there was uh, some things that we couldn't loot and I actually forgot to grab the emeralds, but that's okay because I'm really close to being over encumbered. Uh, as I, I typically am. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be heading to, um, heading down towards Caldera today. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because, well, as I just alluded to, I, I tend to be very close to being over encumbered. So what I'm, I've done uh, up till now and what I'm going to sort of continue doing is I'm going to try and, ooh, an allet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill that thing. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is sort of have a stash in each town that I can go ahead and, and return to uh, and sort of uh, use to sort of uh, pick up or, or we'll say store stuff so that I'm not always carrying around so much stuff You know at first I was like oh, I'll just keep all my stuff in Balmora But you know I'm gonna be traveling all over the map So I think it's it's good to have sort of a, a small stash in each uh, it, We'll say in, in a central area that I can uh, get to easily um, Now uh, I I think in Caldera I might make it uh, you know I'll probably maybe restrict it to like the mages guild That's a that's a good place It's gonna be close to teleporters So if I want to jump around and grab all of my stuff at some point to sell or for whatever reason uh, I can go ahead and do that uh, So that's kind of going to be what I'm gonna be focusing on uh, well, that's what I'm gonna be doing initially today is um, Making my way to Caldera dropping off some uh, some of the excess stuff because I do have a lot of excess stuff on me uh, but also making some sales, getting some money, and then ma ultimately making my way down to Balmora so that I can uh, go ahead and, um, you know, so maybe start doing some more more quests. Uh, now, I'm sorry, if, if you, you tend to, I know a lot of people, they tend to be, a lot of, uh, I don't know, there tends to be this real focus with a lot of players about doing quests. They're like, I love the quests! Um, and, uh, you know, that's, it's, uh... For me, I've always played Morrowind just for the sake of the adventure, you know, going around and exploring it, everything. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry if I'm maybe, if I'm a little bit, um, we'll say, slower in my approach. Um, okay, he's running away. Okay, uh, okay, so if, while he's running away, let's go ahead and blast him. Because I want to be able to get, get the, yeah, well, there we go, we trapped the soul. Uh, awesome. So yeah, I tend to be a little bit more on the, uh, we'll say the, just, just there for the adventure. I'm all about the, the journey. I, I don't care about the little checkbox saying, uh, congratulations, you completed this quest. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Uh, I'm all about, you know, the, the individual experiences. Um, and, uh, you know, if you hey, if you like that and you're okay with that, then hey, that, that's great because that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. That's what I'm going to be, uh, that's what I'm going to be all about in this, uh, this, this, this playthrough. Uh, is about just sort of uh, traversing the land, exploring. I'm going to be doing quests, don't worry. But I want to take my time through the game and really uh, look at every little nook and cranny. You know, checking out the dungeons and stuff like that. Um, because why not? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like when you... Uh, I, I, now, I'm, I, it's hard for me to say this because it's good. I, I don't want it to come across like I'm um, criticizing anyone else's... Uh, Style of play. Let's just use the glass dagger. I'm, I'm kind of curious how uh, good I am with this here. Nice. Um. So like, yeah, like I said, I don't want to come uh, come across like I'm criticizing anyone's style of play because honestly, it's you know you're playing a game, you want to have fun, so you know play the game to have fun. That's that's the whole purpose of games, right? Is to have fun. Um. Uh, and for me, the fun is that that journey, the exploration. Um. So you know that's that's the way I play. Um, so, you know, when, you know, when you have a, a style of play that is very different, uh, from, uh, we'll say maybe someone else's, you know, it can seem kind of strange. And so basically, uh, you know, I get that people like quests. They like having these definitive objectives, these goals, these things, uh, listed, you know, there's like, okay, I want to go ahead and do this. Uh, I want to be able to go ahead and do this. Uh, you know, they, they like, you know. Checking it off. <laughs> okay. Um, sweet, got another soul. I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be trying to grab a, a few souls so I can, uh, uh, we'll say, enchant some more little things. I've got, uh, I had some suggestions for uh, items. Uh, like, for example, this Estus flask uh, I made. Uh, I'll get back to what I was just talking about in a second. Um, uh, you know, I had some suggest suggestions for healing spells and stuff, like that, and I didn't go ahead and use them, but. Uh, I do still want to be making some more enchanted items for, for healing. Uh, for instance, I would like to be able to, um, 
really sort of create an item that maybe uh, heals uh, over a period of time. So I can cast it at the beginning of a fight and, uh, you know, have that uh, sort of going. And I think I'll, I'll be using some of those names for those healing items. So don't worry, your suggestions have not gone in vain. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be making use of, uh, of those. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm actually moving really slowly here. It's, just, it's kind of because I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the cliff racers. There are so many cliff racers and they are going to come in, kill me. And you know what? I should just run for it. Yeah. All right, we're running for it. We're gonna fight us some cliff racers because they are going to come for us. Yeah, I'm not sneaking anymore. We're gonna just run out in the open and uh, oh look, a, a cliff. I suspect there might be a, a tomb at the other on the other end of it. I need to resist going into. Oh, we're going into it. Sorry, I said we we're going to Caldera, but we're going in there just because. Um, and then after uh, after we go in there, we're gonna continue um, on this path. And you're like, what path? And I'd be like, oh, the path straight over the hill, because I got that sweet levitation staff in the last video. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. But yeah, so for me, that that's part of the thing. And uh, I uh, I hope people enjoy that. Um, I don't want to uh, change my style of play uh, to sort of cater to people, because I feel like if I if I'm not if I'm not if I'm not having fun, then that's going to come through. Um, actually, speaking of uh, maybe something coming through, um, uh, you know, at the last I actually went back and I was looking at my um, my last few videos, uh, and I, I feel like my commentary was a little bit stale. I feel like things were a little bit eh, kind of flat. Uh, I actually wanted to go ahead and apologize for that. That's that was not, I will say, a lack of fun shining through. That was uh, actually I was having some. We'll say, uh, we'll say problems, we'll say some, some things, uh, that were, uh, kind of rough in, uh, in, uh, we'll say real life, there was, uh, you know, there was, the um, there was, there was, there was, you know, death and stuff like that, so, you know, I, my, my mood was a little bit, uh, I, I, I try not to, I try not to, uh, bring my, my, per, we'll say personal life into, uh, any of the stuff I do, um, I, I know some people might like that, but I, to me, I like to try to just focus on, uh, you know, focus as much as I can on the games and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it did come through a little bit, and I want to apologize about that. It, I, I feel like the last uh, few videos were just not up to my standards. Um, okay, you, are you gonna stay up there? You're gonna come down? You're gonna try to attack me? Because I really want to get into there, and you're just you're you're wasting my time, Cliff Racer. Come on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop him, and then we're gonna go ahead and. All right, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'll tr uh, I'll try to. Uh, not let uh, life kick me in the nuts uh, <laughs> so much uh, in the future. You know that, that that's something I totally have control over, right? Because uh, I have the power to to alter fate. Sure. Uh, what was the name of this place? <laughs> uh, uh, Shushishi. Shushishi. I, I have no idea what this place is, but we're gonna go ahead and use the blurring because this is, uh, as we've learned, like the most overpowered item in my inventory. All right, so we have a uh, an orc here. Uh, oh man, oh we have uh, Atug Grow Largum. Again. What, what? What? Where's what again? Do you know I'm here? Are you? Uh, you are you aware of my presence? Are you angry with me? Okay, so yeah, you do want to kill me. See what I mean? This item is amazing. All it is, if you're joining us, us a little bit late, it's a chameleon, three to four percent, uh, for ten seconds, uh, enchanted ring. But for whatever reason, it allows me to sort of jump back into, uh, we'll say, uh, sneak mode, I guess, uh, so that uh, they don't, they don't even know I'm here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, since we know that he is going to become hostile towards us, I don't feel bad killing him because I hate killing uh, named um, characters in these game uh, in these games, just because I feel like I don't know, it's, it's taking something out of the game world. Uh, but hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey, is he, he, he was gonna he was gonna be hostile towards us anyway, so All right, I I'll wait for you here when you come back, you know, we'll finish this now, I, I, I don't want to I don't want to chase after him because he's going to uh, I Know exactly what's gonna happen. He's gonna run he's gonna find a friend and Then they're gonna team up on me and they're gonna kill me because as we saw I wasn't doing a ton of damage to him and he had no shirt on this wasn't an armor bonus this guy is just naturally strong so uh, I'm gonna wait for him to come back, and I'm gonna blast him while he's running at me. That's 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 the plan. Because I suspect things in here are a little bit on the uh, the tougher side, and that's that's one thing I really love about Morrowind is 
um, that vari variable uh, difficulty. You know, you, you've got... Um, you don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes you go into a place and you're completely outmatched and it's just like, you know what, you need to run. And to me, that's that's, uh, that's an opportunity for adventure, right? That's uh, something different. Um, you know, if you can take on every threat that you ever come across, uh, I feel kind of like that's... Oh, okay, there's someone else down there. If you can take on any threat that you come across... Oh, here, here he is. There he is! Uh, oh, you know, we did have that other... Um, Where's that other ring? The Ring of Wizard's Fire. Let's try using this sucker. There we go. Sneak skill increased to 49. So I got two shots off uh, with that, and I brought it down to 25. Dang, because how much how much magic does that use per, uh, per shot? Because if I had 40, and I shot it twice, and I'm down to 25, uh, it's got, there's got to be a decimal in there somewhere. All right, so we're going to grab some gold. Oh, if you would have hit me with that, that would have hurt. Uh, we've got a Firebite War Axe. Now, because it's it's so heavy, I'm not going to be able to carry that. The valley is really kind of terrible. Um, but what's good, what does happen, if if I remember correctly, um, I could be totally wrong, but I do believe bodies do disappear over time. Or is it uh, once there's so many uh, different things active in a cell, then the old ones start to disappear? I can't remember exactly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the, the it out and put it on the floor. Um, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure bodies do... Um, we'll see dispose themselves over time. So I'm gonna put the enchanted item over off on the side um, Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll, I'm gonna assume that this other person is probably going to be hostile towards us as well uh, probably nothing. No, it's probably nothing at all. I am nothing You're growing weaker No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. I'm, I'm good gal dear <gasps> Holy crap, okay so she, uh, she, she saw me, uh, and she, uh, d uh, I guess I got a little bit too close, so. Okay, we'll try now to keep, going to get it. we're gonna try to keep her sort of stun locked, and that's not gonna work, but, uh, she's not too bad. Wood elves don't tend to have, uh, they don't tend to hit as hard as, let's say, an orc or a nord. Alright. There we go, we'll heal back up, and, uh, get back to, uh, blurring our way around this, this cave. Uh, is this okay? I was, is this a branch? No. Now you know I, I'm gonna go ahead and say something here. You know we did we did come across one cool dungeon, and I've given uh, I've given Skyrim a ton of crap for having like linear dungeons, but so far I don't think we found too many Morrowind uh, dungeons that were that sprawling. I think the the day of the sprawling um, dungeon left with. Uh, with, uh, Daggerfall and, uh, Arena. Alright, let's try, uh... Should I hit this guy from range? Uh, or should I start things off with... Okay, we're gonna start things off with the, uh, the, the Demon Tanto. Uh, we'll start with, like, a backstab. Because I have a feeling this guy is going to, uh... To hurt. This is too easy. I wonder, actually, should I... Can I, can I pickpocket him? Characters in combat. This is too easy. Okay, so he's actually considered uh, to be in combat. Interesting. Ah, uh, darn it! I'm wasting all my my demon tanto charges. Uh, let's go ahead and and I don't have my demon tanto. There we go. You should have picked an easier opponent. I probably should have. Interesting though that he's using blunt. It seems like everyone in this uh, cave is using blunt. Are they not? Yeah. Interesting. Is there a reason for that? Why are these people all wearing, uh, using uh, blunt weapons? I almost kind of want to talk to them and be like, hey, why? <sighs> oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, <sighs> ouch. <sighs> Holy crap, come on. <sighs> I'm like, trying to get my weapon out. If there's one, if there's another person, maybe I'll use uh, like calm humanoid on him. Ah, slave key. So these are slavers. A bargain restore speed. Uh, I'm inter I'm actually curious. Bargain restore speed. I can't carry it. It's it's too heavy. However, where is my uh, alchemy skill? Alchemy. Alchemy is down here. Forty four out of a hundred. To uh, to increase. What if I took a, a drink of uh, the spell of of the potion? What's uh, my alchemy at now? 
44 still. Okay. I was wondering if it was kind of like, uh, you know, eating the ingredients. You could go ahead and, uh, increase your, uh, your alchemy through, um, drinking the potions. I, I would assume that would make sense because, you know, even with, um, you know, if you consider, like, even the enchantment, doing anything dealing with enchantment will, um, with enchanting will increase your enchant skill, you know, using enchanted items and stuff like that. So, I thought maybe, uh, there we go, so security increased to 21. Excellent. Grab some gold. What is that? Left iron pauldron. Okay. For some reason, the, the, the graphic looked, uh, strange to me. Natural leather helm, exclusive restore intelligence. Um, ooh, scroll of Unduces Unhinging. Now, this is a, a nice scroll. Uh, basically, it opens 40 to 60 points on touch. So, uh, it's, it's variable, but this might help me uh, get to, into some locks that I have a hard time with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try drinking this Restore Intelligence. Just because I want to see if, uh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for your alchemy. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Alright, we'll just go ahead and eat this scuttle and these racer plumes. Uh, yeah, there we go. What else have we got in here? Quality restore luck. Ash yam. Ash yam! You know, I'm gonna grab some ash yams because, uh, it has a, a, a nice attribute to it called fortify intelligence. I'm gonna show uh, an exploit a little bit, uh, let's drink it. I'm, I'm curious, I, I... I think I want to believe. You see, look, my alchemy went up to 52. So maybe the the uh, the, the alchemy thing doesn't go up. Oh wait, no, you idiot! You ate the other ingredients. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. Salt rice. Uh, but yeah, there, there's a little bit of an exploit that can be done using uh, ash yam, and I've already forgotten the other ingredient. You know, it's it's been several years since I've played. Uh, fortify strength and hmm. I have some Sujama, don't I? I picked some up while I was in that place. Weight of three. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll drink that one, and then grab these two. And that's gonna be a dumb idea, but sure, let's do it. Because it's damaging my... Uh... Do I really need a Soul Trap? But on target, though. I can shoot that for, out of range. Cool. A s Spoiled Slow Fall Potion. Not so interested. Uh, restore speed. Eh. I wish I could just drink these and get, like, an alchemy boost. Um. What was I saying? Alright, so, yeah, I've basically drained my intelligence down to zero. Wow. I've got zero magicka. Uh, darn it. That was not a good, that was not a good move on my part. But, hey, the, the plus side is I've got, um, I've got my, uh, my strength up to 94, so I can carry a lot of weight. Uh, but uh, that's, that's fine. After this 60 seconds are up, my, uh, my, uh, my encumbrance is going to go through the roof, uh, again. Anyways, what I'm going to do here, I do have the key, uh, for the, the slave key here. Uh, and I, I suspect that might be for this old, uh, gate, but what I want to do is actually, uh, break in. And the reason for that is I want to build up my, my security skill. Lock level 45. Uh, well, we'll see if I can pick it. Lock two complex. All right, I I, I I used to use the key for that one. Um, hey, much to alarm. hey, guy, how's it going? Uh, yes, I do have the keys to the braces. You may go free. All right, we are he, we are now his friend. He's like very uh, thankful to us. Uh, yes, you may go free. I wish you could do a little bit more with these slaves. To be honest, it's like I I like I like I like freeing them. I like being the the good guy, but I, I feel like it doesn't really go any further. Oh, there's a slaver over there. Did you just say sweet moon sugar? It's like sweet moon sugar. Yes. Uh, alright. So, dealing with, uh, this guy here, we're gonna probably just blast him, uh, until he dies. I'll make this quick. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. Sorry! Uh, no I offense. I have the upper hand. Do you? Do you really? Let me introduce you to my demon tante. Oh. Holy crap! Here it comes. Holy crap! Oh, it almost came too. And I'm over encumbered. Monsi. Wow! You hit hard. Uh, and I'm over encumbered. Because of course I am. I'm always over encumbered. Alright, since I've gotten like no uh, magic anyways, I figured I'll, I'll just go ahead and drink the other Sujama. It'll 
bring up my my strength, allow me to move, and it'll lighten me up a little bit. All right, so let's. Uh, let's oh wait, am I? Yeah, okay, I'm in sneak mode. So we're gonna continue uh, moving on through here and clearing out this area. I kind of. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a branching path for us. I wonder how branching this is. I'm gonna go this way because it's got lava, and I don't know if we've seen any lava within a dungeon before. Not up into like up into this point. I don't think we really have. Um, that's cool. I like that. That's that's it's like a it's like a barrier it blocks you off. It's like you can't go any further this way unless you have the appropriate uh, skills. You know, maybe if you're a really good acrobat, you can sort of jump across. Uh, or if let's say you've got a levitation staff like we do, you can jump across. So we'll come back to that in a bit. I want to go ahead and explore this way and see uh, see what we've got over here. Um, hello. Any other slavers? Any other horrible people? Uh, small Kwama egg. Uh, no, but I'll take the ash yam. And the grief. I'll drink the grief. There we go. Uh, what have we got else here? Another soul trap on target. Now, Flynn seems, uh, like, uh, like the kind of drink I could get my, get behind. Because, you know, it just fortifies stuff without knocking anything down. So, we'll grab the Flynn. A spoiled cure disease potion. I didn't we already have one of these? I don't know. We'll take it anyways. Um, but Jason, you're gonna be over encumbered. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm used to it by this point. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. If I'm, wait, okay, there's some stairs there. If I am uh, over encumbered, can I still levitate? Because I'm like, what, what if I could just levitate throughout the entire uh, dungeon? Just be like, I'm flying around. I wonder, or or would it just be like too much? I've got like all this weight tied to me, and I'm floating around. I'm like, oh, my feet! It's be like you know cement blocks tied to my legs or something. My sneak skill. Are you slaves? Probably. Fresh game. Hey, how's it going? Yes, you may go free. All right, awesome. Let's let's uh, let's free some people here. You may also go free. And you. Uh, what do you want? Drozier. What's your background? Drozier does little jobs here and there, but you don't have- you're not as Interesting. This is an honor for me. He's got no, um, br uh, slave braces on. In fact, he's wearing armor. I'm wondering if he's working with the slavers, but he's not hostile, so you know what? We're going to let him live for the time being. We're just gonna be like, you know what? Um, he didn't try to fight us. He didn't try to kill us. He didn't stop us from free freeing the slaves. We'll leave. We'll leave him be. All right. So uh, what we'll do here now is uh, run on over to where the uh, the lava was, and we're gonna go ahead and fly on across. So uh, where where do we have it? It's probably under uh, wizard staff. So we can go ahead and fly across. And, uh, so now we can get to the other side. We're moving around pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Actually, how do I go down? That's right. Yeah, you kind of have to move in the direction. I've been playing a lot of Descent lately, so I've got my controls for moving up, down, left, right, you know, the, you know, all that three, um, six degrees of movement type thing, right? And so it's really confusing for me. I'm like, I can't, um, I'm having a hard time, uh, moving, uh, you know, uh, around with Levitate because I feel like my, my, my options are, uh, very, we'll say, limited. What are you? Oh, um, uh, what are they called? Shock? Something? I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it's it's a bug. Uh, I, I want to probably keep my distance. Uh, there we go. Um, hmm. It seemed like the first hit did a lot of damage, and then after that, just... What am I hitting? Is there two of them down there? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll go ahead and zap these, and... Is there another one there? A shock. Yeah, okay. Um, just eat that because I have like no. Is it another one? No. Okay. Because I've got, I've got no, uh, I've, like I said, I've got no room. But what I, we can do is just eat the ingredients directly from the place and work on our alchemy. See? Uh, and I think that one probably put the other one in my inventory, didn't it? Let me see. Yeah, there it is. So if you if you try if you if you pick up a stack of two and you try to eat it uh, from directly from the item, it's gonna put the other one in your inventory. 
All right, there's nothing really here. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna do it to the other uh, mushrooms. I'm not gonna do it uh, for everything. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. We gotta work on our alchemy a bit. Just because our alchemy is so terrible. And we, we, we want alchemy. Alchemy is going to be great. Alchemy is going to be... Uh, I'm gonna try not to break the game too much. <laughs> like I said, I want to make this sort of a, a regular playthrough. Uh, but alchemy is... Uh, if, if you think uh, enchant uh, enchanting is... Um, is, uh, is uh, we'll say maybe overpowered or it's uh, a little bit on the strong side. You, you've, you've seen nothing yet. Alchemy will blow your freaking mind. Uh, although, you know what, you could probably do a lot of the same stuff with uh, with enchanting. Oh, this looks cool. I like this. I take back what I said. Skyrim's got nothing on Morrowind. Even though it's kind of got a linear thing. I don't know, I like this. Jason, you know there are dungeons like this kind of in uh, Skyrim, right? There's the branching paths and uh, like somewhat, uh, you know, something like this. Not exactly, but something like this. What have we got here? Oh, cool. So if you make your way over here, you can find yourself a steel crossbow, uh, and, uh, Imperial Newt Scale Curus. I have not seen that before. Really? I've not seen that before. Uh, quality frost shield, too. I like that. It got, like, just a potion tucked in the corner. So how did this guy die? A storm helm. Oh, that's cool. Lightning shield three points for five seconds on self. Now, it's not really that great of an item, but... It's got some value to it. A flame bolt. Oh, so he's got uh, an enchanted uh, crossbow bolt type thing. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll have to make a note uh, to come back here and... Uh, to come back here and uh, maybe you will see... Uh, check that stuff over. It's not good enough that I'm like, I need to start dropping stuff to pick this stuff up because I can't really use any of it. And, um, you know, it's, it's heavy. If you, if you do like a, a weight uh, value uh, comparison, it's nothing really fantastic. Oh, hi. Okay. I was like, um... Alright, are you guys like, you're, yeah, you're gonna attack me. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Demon Tanto here. Uh, because I can't, I can't sneak while I'm levitating. That's, that's one, the one downside to, uh, levitating. Which is kind of funny, though, because you'd think, since I'm, my feet aren't even touching the ground, that I would be extra sneaky. But no, that's not the case. Also, it seems like if I try to drop... No, that, that works just fine. Never mind. Uh, and I guess that answers that question, that even, um, even if you're levitating, you can become over-encumbered. So, uh, oh, yay. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not eating the corpus weepings. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not eating that. All right, so I need to... I need to get rid of something. The Book of Daedra. You know, it's all, honestly not that valu valuable of a book. Oh, no, I hate I hate drop dropping things like that. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll drop that for now. The value's not that great. We've read it already for the channel, so. Uh, what, what have we got here? This comes back around... Is this... Oh, this, this brings me back out here! Okay! That's cool. So we're back out by, uh, close to, uh, the entrance. Alright, so, yeah, that looped us around. Alright, so, yeah, that wasn't that involved of a dungeon. Uh, but it was, it was, it was cool. It was cool. It, it was, it's definitely not, we'll say, an example of one of the greatest dungeons of Morrowind. Um, but it, it was a fun little, uh, we'll say, uh, side quest. A little fun little side adventure. Alright, so, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and continue our quest to Caldera. Now, unfortunately... Yes, yes, that's right, it's that time again. Uh, I did, I have run out of time. Again! I know, it's like, it just, it just keeps happening. Chance skill increased to 20. Amazing. We're gonna just fly up over this cliff. Uh, this hill here, and we're gonna go ahead and kill these cliff racers in the sky. We're gonna fight them in the sky. This is gonna be, like, one of the most epic battles ever. Because, I don't know, we're fighting in the air. Oh, and we leveled up. Check that action out. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and slay the, the cliff racers, continue moving up, uh, up over the hill, and, uh, flying towards, uh, Caldera and Balmora. Yeah. Uh, but... Like I said, I'm out of time, so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, call it quits. So what we'll do is we'll probably land up here on top of the uh, hill overlooking Caldera. There we go. I can see, I recognize the, the tops of the, the towers there. There we go. There's Caldera. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop right up here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and maybe rest. Can I rest here? Oh, wait, I'm levitating. 
That's the one thing I don't like about the, the levit levitating, is that you kind of have to sit around and wait. Um, I'm on solid ground, but I, I've got to wait for levitation to wear off. Um, that should be done in just a, a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to rest up here, uh, level up, and then uh, next time we'll make it into Caldera. Uh, and uh, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, left. Uh, come on. Loot. There we go. Louis. So we left loot. So we have a note there saying to uh, to go back and grab it. All right. <laughs> T took long enough for it to wear off. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get some pretty pitiful bonuses this time. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we'll rest until healed. It's probably gonna take us till night. Uh, but I don't want to wait until night. So we'll just rest for one hour. Stay in the afternoon because, you know, we'll keep things bright out for people. Uh, let's go ahead and increase... We can still get our plus two bonuses to our, uh, our typical stats. Sky just changed color for some strange reason. That's alright, that's fine. Uh, so speed, intelligence, and agility. Really want to put some more points into strength. You know what? Maybe let's put some points into strength. Uh, I have a feeling speed is just going to keep going up. Uh, but speed is good. We like speed. And intelligence is good. It's going to govern a lot of things. Agility we definitely want to keep because that's uh, that's a lot of our uh, sneaky, sneaky um, skills. So you know what? Let's go ahead and maybe uh, not put points in speed this time. We'll put the points into his strength just to give us a little bit more carry weight. Uh, even though I'm about to, we'll say, lighten myself up, we'll, we'll do that. We'll put speed next time because, you know, we're constantly using short blades. We're going to be increasing our speed uh, by quite a bit. Yeah. You sense yourself more aware, more open to new ideas. You've learned a lot about Morrowind. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. There we go. So now we are level six. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, I think. Still, still, still have quite a ways to go, but I can start to feel the the power already is sort of increasing. Uh, but anyways, yes, we are uh, done for today. Next time, like I said, we'll run on down to Caldera, then back to uh, Balmore, and we will do some thieves, um, thieves guilding, I guess. Um, sorry, I kind of said that's what we were gonna do today, but uh, I also explained that that that's how I like to uh, like to play. I like to adventure and explore, and uh, that's kind of what we did. So, uh, if you like the video, well, go ahead and. Give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments section. And until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.